Now, shifting focus. Opened just over a year ago, the Santa Cruz Chembur Link Road extension is already pothole ridden. The potholes point towards the subpar quality of construction of the elevated east west corridor, tarnishing the credibility of the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority. This comes as a huge shocker as the MMRDA had imposed a 2.5 crore fine on the contractor for missing three deadlines. The Santa Cruz Chembur Link Road extension is a 5.4 kilometer long elevated corridor that provides a signal free ride between the Eastern Express Highway and the Western Express Highway. The flyover had faced similar issues in 2023 June with photographs and videos of potholes going viral on social media. The MMRDA had undertaken repair work to fix the potholes. To get us more on this, we're crossing over to my colleague Abhishek. Abhishek, same old story. Why exactly does this continue to happen? See, definitely, we are also present right now on the same, uh, you know, Santa Cruz Chamber Link Road and the bridge which is ending towards uh, Santa Cruz Western Express Highway. And you can clearly see the pothole right next left to me and this is the peak hour time right now so it's a bit difficult to stand on the road and this is the pothole how big it is you can clearly see and uh, this is a uh, traffic peak hour currently i would like my cameraman to show you you know this is the uh, entire traffic which is coming from the eastern expressway and will be merging to the western expressway and this is a key connector from where we are reporting currently and this is the condition that uh, is on the road and remember this is uh, the bridge which was opened from past one year uh, several number of times uh, potholes were witnessed on these important crucial connector it was repaired by mmrda but again the question arises the, what quality of work is being done so that these uh, potholes come back again into place and you know they have been repaired they have been filled but one uh, one after the other this kind of situation has been witnessed in the important key connector that is from the eastern expressway to the western expressway and we are present at the towards the end of uh, santa cruz at western expressway and you can clearly see this is the uh, pothole ridden road and we are reporting right on the bridge which can be clearly seen and this is the traffic time peak hour time completely jam packed you know in fact uh, this is also a cause of accident when it comes to uh, you know in the night when there are two wheelers which are going on speed and they don't witness such huge potholes and then they met with accident and severe injuries are caused and sometime in fact an innocent life is also lost so definitely the mmrda who is responsible for this should take note of it and take necessary action despite fining the contractor this should be immediately filled up so that no adverse uh, uh, incident happened on this road back to you absolutely abhishek out of curiosity you know when we talk about potholes and as you correctly mentioned it's possible that people can lose their lives when it comes to a situation like this we've already seen similarities take place in karnataka in bengaluru where people have lost their lives to pothole ridden roads now we're seeing this specifically in mumbai on this corridor but what power do the residents have at this point can they legally take action against the mmrda See, definitely, you know, uh, there needs to be accountability on uh, uh, on the roads who are being managed, you know, because in, in uh, Mumbai, we have different authorities who take care of respective uh, region or respective roads in Mumbai. BMC is responsible at some places, some places MMRDA is responsible, some places PWD is responsible. So there is a long pending demand that there should, you know, all those these authorities should come up under one and they should be held accountable because as we are reporting from here this road comes under mmrda so mmrda is responsible for this and they need to fix it at earliest possible and again i want to point out you know this is the peak hour time we are reporting right from the bridge but imagine in the night when this traffic is not there and a two wheeler coming with a, a, a with a requisite speed limit and he bumps into this without knowing that there is a pothole ahead then definitely severe injuries can be caused and that may might lead to a loss of life so definitely 
accountability needs to be there and these authorities who are responsible for different road maintenance should come into one umbrella and they should be held accountable and moreover just by fining those contractor is not enough you know there needs to be strict action against them they needs to be blacklisted if several repeated reminders are given and if such kind of work is been witnessed then a strict action against the contractor is must back to you Absolutely. Abhishek, one final question. Now, speaking of holding people accountable, has politics over this started yet? See, definitely, you know, as the monsoon progresses, uh, I mean, the politics is at its peak. Blame game begins. But who suffers is the Mumbaikers who travel since morning and uh, both the time. In the morning and the evening, we witness the peak cars. Again, I would like to show you. the way this road is is being constructed and as far as politics is concerned currently the bmc is ruled by the administrator and in that case uh, there is no accountability as to because there are no elections held from past two years so one side we have opposition blaming the government that why they are not taking out or carrying out elections so there are elected corporators in the bmc and we can hold them accountable the people but at the same time the government which is in place the triple engine government is uh, telling that you know that we are doing all our level best through administrator uh, that is the bmc commissioner and looking forward to all the problems in fact we have two guardian ministers for the city of mumbai and they also claim that uh, things are being done for the betterment of mumbai cars but this is the reality we are reporting and we can clearly see on this bridge again i would want to point out another huge pothole right in front of our eyes you can clearly see and this can be a cause of uh, difficulty to the two wheelers especially uh, in the night when they don't notice it and can uh, you know uh, there could be accident because of that so definitely politics is happening there is no accountability all the authority should come under one umbrella so that there should be a accountability a direct accountability and in fact just by finding the contractor will not be enough you know they should be blacklisted they shouldn't be given the contract again or to build such kind of a road which has difficulty or which get exposed in just one rain and imagine this is the bridge is almost one year now which has been built and such kind of uh, construction is been witnessed now it is the responsibility of the government to take necessary action in fact the authority involved here is Absolutely. mmrda and we are hopeful that they do they have they claim that they have filled up certain potholes but uh, the reality speaks other thing yes. what they say and we are reporting right from the bridge itself back to you absolutely abhishek thank you so much for joining us showing us what exactly is taking place on the ground specifically when it comes to that bridge that corridor which just a year after it was constructed is now facing potholes which of course will be damaging to vehicles and hopefully we hope it doesn't hurt anybody but the reality is that it could